All right, I'm going to cover in this video how to save out uh, morphs for the eyelashes on Genesis 8, a material presets for the eyelashes on Genesis 8, and a character preset that handles the eyelashes on Genesis 8. Pretty much all these are necessary when you're doing characters for any of the Genesis 8 figure, for any of the Genesis 8, for either Genesis 8 figure, um, in order to handle the lashes correctly. Uh, the idea is that the user will never actually actually have to select the lashes themselves. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this character Rebecca um, that I then tore apart in order to be able to show you how to set it back up. I'm going to use the scene subset that I have saved right now just temporarily to work on because it has both the character and the eyelashes all together kind of stuff and it's easier. So here I've got Rebecca. She's got the eyelashes. Um, and the eyelashes have a morph, and I know it has a morph because if I were making it, I, I just made the morph. Um, having not made it, I looked over here and I saw that, that, that they go into the data folder. And under Genesis 8, you got the female eyelashes, and you go further, further, and further, and you come to this morph that Fred's made. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and look at that morph real quick here on the character, on the eyelashes. Eyelashes selected. There's the morph, and that's what it does. However, we don't want users to have to select the eyelashes, so I'd hope to find that morph over here, and in this case, I don't because I went and deleted it. Um, so here's how you make that morph. You go back to the eyelashes, you look at the actual morph on the lashes, and you copy the name, like that, Control c And then we're going to go back over to Genesis 8 Female Herself, and switch into Edit Mode, and just click anywhere over here and create a new property. And we want the names to have to match. In order for it to work, the names have to match. And I don't remember what the label on it was, so I'm just going to leave that like that for now. Um, it's in the right path because I was in the right path to begin with. Uh, change the type, no, change auto follow to yes. The name has to match the actual morph. Auto follow has to be turned on. Type should be say, changed to shape. Sorry there. Change the type to shape um, because it is a shape morph and because if we don't then it won't save out when we save shape and presets so we want that changed and I don't remember what if you had an icon or the colors uh, we do want it to use the limits I remember that much I don't remember what the limits were so I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna check the create empty morph uh, you gotta gotta check the create as empty morph it won't work otherwise uh, you've got to have the name match you've got to have auto follow on you've got to check the create as empty morph box if you don't do those three things it's not going to work and I'm going to create the morph. So now over here in Genesis, I'm going to switch out of edit mode because I'm done. Switch out of edit mode, I've got this morph, which if I dial it up, you can see it applies the morph on his lashes. And if I look at that now, it's hidden because it's following a different morph, but you can see right there that it is applied. And then we come over here and we can dial it back off. And because I didn't, I didn't match the limit, so it goes all the way down here and stops working at zero. But that's okay. We'll fix that in the text editor here in a second, because now we need to save out this morph, obviously. So we're going to go Save As, and Support Asset, and Morph Asset, and then change it to the right folder, for heaven's sake. Save it to the right spot. And vendor name. In most cases, that'll be your information, because it's not your information right now. i got to go change that, and I'm just going to copy it from here. So it's FW Art and it's MISC, I remember that. And the reason he uses the MISC folder is because he's going to use this Lash Morph again on other Genesis 8 characters that he does, probably all of them. So he's going to use this morph over and over and over again instead of just cluttering it up and by renaming it every time, as as you know, Rebecca Lashes or or Amy Lashes or whatever the character's name might be. He just he's just going to use the same morph over and over and over again. And so he includes that in every file and puts it in a miscellaneous folder so it always lands in the same spot and it doesn't clutter up people's Genesis dial pane or their folders. And so anyways, we're going to save out that morph. Let's go do that. Now i got to go find that morph. It's under head, face, eyes, real world, and it's going to be down at the bottom because I just created it. Bam, that one there. And accept. And I'm going to come over here. And this is the actual morph on the lashes. I'm going to drag that over here into a text editor real quick. Uh, just because I didn't clean it up in Studio. And I'm going to come back over here. And here's the morph under Genesis 8 Female that I just created. And I'm going to drag and drop that one over there. Now I've got to make sure some things match here real quick. Uh, the actual label, what, it's, what it displays on the dial in Studio. I'm going to copy that over so that whatever the, the fancy, pretty looking name there is. Gets, gets gets shown on the same dial over on Genesis 8. 
I also want to make sure the color description, uh, the icon, the colors, anything like that. Uh, basically, all the presentation stuff. I want to copy it from the lash morph on the lashes over to the lash morph on Genesis 8 female. And the last thing to check is, of course, your minimum, maximum limits, zero and one. And because I didn't set them, it's negative one and one, so I'll change that to zero. And so now it's got the same values and presentation and everything as his original as the, the original morph on the lashes itself. So now I have an empty morph on Genesis 8 female that matches the morph on the lashes and if I delete Genesis 8 female in and I reload that scene subset I've got this dial right here on Genesis 8 female that applies his lash morph. So that's how you do the lash morphs. You put a pusher morph or a control morph or a dial or whatever we want to call it. But you got a, a dial over on Genesis 8 female that controls the morph on the lashes. That way users don't have to select the lashes and everything works all happy and pretty. Um, the other thing we got is material presets because again we don't want users to have to apply or we don't want users to have to select the lashes themselves so any material preset for the lashes should be a hierarchical material preset in this case uh, it doesn't include a separate one I'll just go ahead and make one real quick I'm gonna apply the all mat um, the all mat is a hierarchical mat and does include the lashes and the genitalia so I know um, the lashes have the right materials on them right now and we can look at that real quick. You just go surfaces and lashes and you look at the cutout opacity. And I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's using Rebecca's transparency map for the lashes as opposed to Genesis 8 females. So we know it's using the right map. The moral of the story is that the material is correct for the lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say about a hierarchical material preset. And because this is the lash map, I'm just going to I'll go like this Rebecca I lashes. And I don't want it to apply the materials to the to the base figure. I just want it to apply the materials to the eyelashes. So I uncheck the base figure, leave the lashes selected, and now I'll have a material preset that just applies to the to the lashes. Um, when you have the base figure selected, we'll show you that real quick here. Let me delete that. Let me load in a blank Genesis 8 female. All right, and if we look right now, we can see the eyelashes have the base eyelash transparency map. If I apply that, you probably saw the lashes change, but now the lashes are using the Rebecca lashes and Genesis A female is still what I had selected, so you don't have to again select the select the, the eyelashes. We don't want users to have to select the eyelashes. And the last thing uh, is character presets. Let me delete that. I'm going to reload my scene subset because it already had the shape and the materials and everything applied. So here is the character. It's got the lashes, it's got the morphs, all that stuff's applied to it. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file here that I just saved out, the material preset that I just saved out, this one here. I'm going to move it um, because we, you know, it's only one option, so there's no real point in having it available to the users to, to apply themselves unless we wanted to. And I don't because I'm just showing you how to do this. So I'm going to take this file here and I'm going to copy it here into the data folder uh, along with the morphs. And that will prevent users from messing with it because I'm going to have to reference it. I'm going to have to set it up so the script references it. I don't want users to move it. So I'm going to go and hide it in the data folder so users can't mess things up. And you can see it's over here. It's right alongside all the morphs just sitting there minding its own business. So here, so to do that we're going to go to files. Alright, and I have Alright, technical issue there. Hopefully I can get through this before the computer explodes. Um, oh, we're, we're saving the character preset now. I've saved out the morph, I've created a hierarchy material preset, and that hierarchy material preset I've hidden up here in the data folder for Rebecca along with the morphs uh, to keep users from moving it or changing it or breaking anything. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my scene subset one last time and load her in and we can see we've got it renamed we can see we've got all these dialed we don't have we don't have this lash morph so I'm going to go ahead and add the lash morph head uh, face eyes uh, real world and there's the lash morph so I'll dial up the lash morph that way the character loads in with the lashes and 
And now we're going to show the character preset. So we're going to go ahead and file save as character preset. And whenever you go and save out a Genesis 8 character, either male or female, are uh, going to have to do it this way. Rebecca. And yes. And check that post note script. You have to check the post note script in order for it to handle the eyebrow eyelashes. Um, if you don't do that, it won't handle the eyelashes correctly and it won't work. It'll be broke. So this should automatically fill out. If it doesn't automatically fill out, the easiest way to fix it is delete your existing eyelashes, load in new eyelashes, reapply your material to the eyelashes, and then save it again, or go to, go to save your character preset. Again, loading the lashes should cause that to populate correctly so that you get the right script. And what that script does basically is it looks to see if you're applying it to a figure, if that figure has eyelashes. If it has eyelashes, then it just applies the material um, preset that you tell it to here in the next step. If it doesn't have eyelashes, then it loads eyelashes and applies the material that you tell it to apply here in the next step. And here's the next step. You hit the little next step button. And you got to expand this down a little bit. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more. And here, and this one's kind of awkward because you can't navigate, I don't think. I'm not sure that works. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to try it, see what happens. No, I'm not. I've never done it that way. I'm not going to do it now. Um, oh, this is my text. We're going to go and we're going to use this eyelash morph or eyelash material that I saved out earlier. And we need its path starting from the data folder. So we're going to go like this and I'm going to paste it in there and throw in a slash and then grab the file name. And there's a hundred different ways to get that. However, you get the path. You've got to have the path from the data folder. And of course, those are wrong. So I've got to flip all those around. There, it's already up. So now you got the path that's valid and everything like that. However you want to do it, if you wanted to edit it, um, double click, and you can you can just edit it or or do it elsewhere and copy and paste it, or you can try this whole little set item thing. I'm not going to try because it'll probably open up in some weird folder. I don't want you to see. So this is the material preset it's telling it to apply. Because this is a hierarchy material preset, that's all you have to do. If this was for some reason a regular material preset, but again, you really shouldn't save regular material presets for the lashes because we don't want the users to have to select the lashes themselves. But if it was a higher or a regular material preset, you'd have to change that to true. Basically, this line here tells it whether or not it needs to select the thing it just loaded before applying the material preset, or if it's fine to just apply the material preset where it's at. And because it's hierarchical, it's fine to just apply it the way it is. So we're done with that, and hit accept and it's saving oh no it's not it's over here so we hit accept over there and now it saves and now if I were to delete that and we load in this character preset character preset there's Rebecca and you can see she's loaded in with the lashes and it's kind of obvious there that she's loaded in with the lashes the morphs working and I don't know why it's like that you can do it from here but if we look at the lashes and the trans map we know it's using Rebecca's lashes instead of some other weird lashes and if we were to apply this because it's a character preset so you can either load it fresh or you can apply it to an existing character so we'll take an existing character uh, the base genesis a female look at her lashes where it's using the base genesis a female eyelashes and we'll apply the Rebecca character and let's tell it to apply to the existing one and again somewhat obvious but just to prove it it's now using Rebecca's lashes. So it manages the lashes correctly. It didn't load in a second set of lashes. It changed the, the ones that were already there, which is the whole point. And that's how you do it.